Hey guys, there you go. Scott Lister here from Australian Earth Training. Uh, this morning I find myself back over here at RD Williams Yard at, uh, at Rock Lee. Uh, made a short video on this old girl about six weeks ago, this 637G uh, coal bowl scraper. Um, and we just come back to, to do an, another little catch up to see to see where she's at. Um, clearly they've, um, they've done a little bit of the workshop with it. She's looking pretty schmick. Uh, but what I want to do now is just roll around the, the, the scraper give a bit of a bit of a backstory on this old girl because she's uh, quite the story so we'll just reel, reel through we'll talk about um, some of the differences between a, a coal bowl scraper and a conventional scraper right oh let's have a look so I guess the uh, the biggest difference is obviously in the in the in the uh, in the bowl of the scraper is, is the biggest difference between a coal bowl and a conventional so if we look up here we've got a little bit more height on the top of our bowl um, call them hungry boards call them any spill devices call them whatever you will but we're a little bit higher on the sides. And if we look down along the bottom of the, the bowl here, we'll see that we've got four ears. The conventional scraper has only got three. So we're a little bit longer in the, in the bowl length. And it's about 12 meters difference between your conventional scraper, 12 cubic meters I should say, between a conventional scraper and a coal bowl. Okay, so these coal bowl um, scrapers are obviously uh, designed for that lighter material. So, you know, if you did buy this and you want to turn it into dirt, you just have to be really careful of um, how much you're putting in it because we're going to run the risk of uh, overloading it. These, girl, these old girls have got about 9,700 hours on them. Um, the backstory is it's actually come out of um, a coal mine or a power plant in the, in, the, in the UK. So there's a fair bit of history associated with these scrapers. Uh, this one here in particular is running the C-Series engines. We've got C18 up front, we've got a little C9 down back and generating the same horsepower that your conventional scraper does. I'm going to say from the get-go I was super impressed on how tidy these things are uh, on the inside of the cab like you know for a machine that's pushing close to 10,000 hours you can tell that she's been looked after um, which is a real bonus to the uh, or real credit I should say to the people that were, um, were steering it for the, for the majority of its life so yeah super tidy on the inside super tidy on the outside um, RDs uh, do have um, push-pull arrangement if that's you know if that's your flavor so uh, if you want to go down those lines, just talk to the good people at, um, at RDs around that push-pull um, setup. So if you came to learn a little bit more about them, just drop into RD Williams or give them a buzz on the phone, hit them up on an email, talk to Guy or talk to, um, talk to Grant. They'll be able to give you the backstory. They've got two of these 637G coal bowl scrapers and um, mate, they are super tidy, seriously. Give them a whistle um, and see how you go. I'm Scott Lidster, thanks for watching.